Hey there, this is Amanda with Tap Mom and the Babe Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Wednesday, October 25th. And it starts with a Bible verse and goes as follows. There, there is therefore no, now no condemnation to those who are in Jesus Christ, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Romans 8.1 now our inspirational story as i've gotten older i've realized the need to eat health healthfully but that's easier said than done i've identified behavioral patterns that self-sabotage my best intentions the most fragrant flagrant happens when i drive along long distances that's when i tend to binge on potato chips i justify myself by claiming that the church keeps me awake that the crunch keeps me awake at the wheel and then there's the the red licorice no crunch there but i indulge anyway guilt foods me guilt floods me when i see the empty junk food wrappers you're a failure you blew it again whispers an accusatory voice in my head in past years i let that little voice heap condemnation on me the weight of guilt drove me to eating junk food for comfort. I reasoned that gobbling a chocolate bar wouldn't make any difference since I'd already blown it. But now I recognize that voice as belonging to the enemy of my soul. He wants to destroy me, and he uses condemnation as one of his tactics. Jesus never condemns me or any of his children. He speaks words of truth and life to help us change, grow, and flourish. In his strength, I'm learning to say no to self-sabotaging behaviors more often than not. When I make an unhealthy choice, I listen to Jesus' encouraging voice and not the whispers of disapproval. Grace Fox. Faith Step. Write a prayer asking Jesus to help you recognize the enemy's voice of condemnation in your life. Thank Jesus for his encouragement and for freeing and for freedom from condemnation. Jesus will never, never talk to you that way. He will never make you feel that way. That is the devil. So never, Jesus will not mistreat you that way. So don't think that he's not going to punish you in that way. Jesus loves us and he's not going to do that. So remember that when you, when you're thinking Oh, he's going to punish me for, for cheating on my diet. He's going to punish me for this, punish me for that. No, that that's guilt that the devil throws your way to discourage you from loving Jesus and to following his path and, and from doing right. Don't, don't let the devil drag you down like that because that's, that's not of Jesus. That's of the other, other guy. I know this from experience. So when you start feeling like, you know, all that guilt and then you hear that voice that tells you you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, that's not Jesus telling you that. That's someone else. So please remember that Jesus is only love. Only love. And I love you too. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye now.